Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's your lovely show, Alhamdulillah. It's Juma and I'm Arafa and I'm here with my lovely co host. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Dr. Hakim, your Ask the Muslims guy. Mm. Ask the Muslim always. Are you here to ask anybody any question? No, no, no. You're here. here to talk. You yourself and yours. Ask myself. MashaAllah. <laughs> and you? Your name? And everyone knows is Halal BJ Abdul Hamid and we're here to have fun, inshallah. Well, today on Alhamdulillah, it's Juma. We have a guest with us, a very interesting one. Uh, and, and we hope you enjoyed the ride with us. His name uh -huh. is no other than Fuad. He's a writer. Salam alaikum to Abu Kato. Oh, you're welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it felt slightly awkward to be skipped, but I can't leave it. <laughs> As usual on our lovely show, we'll be having our Juma Gem, which will be recited to us by Halal VJ. So for today on Juma Gems, the topic is the price of neglect. The price of neglect is unaffordable for most of us. For a neglected child, it is a lifetime of seeking attention even from those who don't mean well. For a family member, it is the loss of trust and connection. And for yourself, it is the hefty price of a loss of commitment, contentment, purpose, and direction. We often don't recognize the price of neglecting others, so we prioritize them, even if it means neglecting our own selves. But we should realize that part of neglecting ourselves is neglecting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by losing our awareness of ourselves, really lose awareness of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has intended for us. Allah. I think that was lovely, you know, because when you talk about neglect, nobody wants to be neglected. I don't yeah, think everyone is. And I think it, it, it's a lovely, it's a lovely, it's, it's a lovely a, piece. It's a lovely so piece. it's called a gem. Yeah, yeah. it's a, but just a brief one from you as regards the piece. Bro. I think it's prof I like, so like I was like, ah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, like Juma, Juma gem. And I'm like, whoa, now I'm thinking about my life, like, like you went so, from there to like yeah, like, I escalated real quickly. Yeah, 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 it did. It actually did. But like you guys said, nobody wants to be neglected. One of the famous um, people who studied human psychology says that the greatest need of man is to be recognized, is to be appreciated, is uh -huh. is is to have that feeling of people, a sense of belonging. Sense of belonging. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if that is lacking yeah. in anybody, there is there, there will be there will be an issue of, of existence. You feel rubbish. You feel exactly. less than even an animal because mm -hmm. you feel that imagine passing imagine someone passing like say someone like someone like someone like and just forget that he is here. Yeah, yeah like, 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 like I was skipping. People was like nah. like for what I was skipping. I actually thought maybe because he was wearing shirts. And I said yeah. about like hundred mm -hmm. things in his hair. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. Skip, Why like from one I'm skip. not good enough. Like like exactly. No one loves to be in the yeah, I, I think the psychologist forgot to add that people want to be fed too. Yeah. People want to what? Especially the parties when they skip you and you're not recognized. That one is a cheat. Don't, don't, don't let us change our yeah, topic. Yeah, we, still yeah. have, we have a hot topic on the show. Yeah. This year, two lucky contestants won an all expense paid trip to Hajj. We have great news. You can be a part of the HAL TV Africa Hatch Quest 2020. We are searching for contestants, sponsors, partners, and show hosts. All you have to do is send us an email, hatchquest at haltvafrica.com. The quest for Hajj is on. How societal trends affect the Muslim youth? Wow. Wow. How societal trends affect the Muslim youth? This should be fun. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? I have a lot of reservations about that too. <laughs> like a lot, a because, lot of because talking about societal trends now, you know, it's like it's like it's like hectares of land. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you can you it's, can you just go inside and graze. You, you understand? No, there's no boundary. There's no fence. There's no boundary. There's no boundary at all. At every point in our lives, there's a trend mm. that is ongoing there. I think, keep rolling I think it's driven by the fundamental need to have as much steel as possible in our I'm rights. coming back to you, Fahad, because you're a so, guest for the show, so I'm, I'll take your point. Vijay? So for social trends today, we see that a lot of things are actually out there in the open. And the youths, the Muslims generally, we don't seem to have a barrier or a distinction between what to join and what not to join. Hmm. In fact, more generally, is the use of social media itself. I think hmm. that is a very broad one we should talk about. Well, we'll talk about it later in the show. So now I want to give our guests the floor now, please. Shoot. Um, so, like trends, Tr trends are what they are. Trends, like okay. they have existed forever. They will exist to tomorrow, right? True. Um, I mean, in the time of the prophets, for example, the, the, the trend was 
Oh yeah, like a poet has posted something on the Kaaba, like before he like Islam. Like ah a poet everybody go and gather and go read the poem and be like ah buzz, 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 right? Mm-hmm. So like trends will always be with us and it will always be a question of receiving. What do you want to take? Yes. What do you want to keep? Like it's it's like a fundamental part of human nature, right? Mm-hmm. Um when we when we're like much younger, huh? Okay, I, I feel like I'm going, I'm going to give you like how old I am, but I'm pretty young, right? Okay. But when, we, when I was like much yeah, we younger, can see. Like, I'm kind of relax. I'm a, I'm a baby boy. Uh, we can see, we can we see. Can see very, very young. So, um, so, like, of course, when we were younger, it was baggies, right? Yeah. They were, they were really, big, really big shirts. They were um, con- ridiculous stuff. So it was always a question of what is for me and what is not. Yeah. So talking about that now. We're talking about how it affects Muslim youth, positively or negatively. We all know there's always two sides to a coin, you understand? So now, talking about the societal trends, at what point, you understand? Don't let me stream. Now, how does it affect the Muslim youth positively and negatively here? Okay, so, um, now let me give you a very clear example. Okay. Uh, you talked about baggy. I forget that at some point when we were growing up, it was fun to step on your jeans. No. If your jeans is lot shorter than you, you go and lose it at the lost place. Okay. Make sure it is long and step on it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people like us added extra material so, so you could still step on so it. So you did that? Everyone in, did in, it. In I, days, I, I, I'm days. judging you. In those days. I'm actually <laughs> judging you because <laughs> I, I didn't do it. Okay. So like you said, you, you, you talked about some point where we were wearing baggy jeans yeah. and um, some of us have already extended that one to ensure that, ensuring that we stepped on those jeans. It was the trend. But don't let us streamline it to fashion only. Yeah, I was going to well. I'm saying that at that point, for Muslims who ensured that the length of their trousers was at the right place, above the um, and the ankle, it was they were like anti trend. They were against yep. it. They were looking like, hey, do you know what's happening around? See your trousers. I like, I know, cool. Let me use that word. So would you say the fashion trend in your own, in your opinion, the fashion trend at that particular time actually affected Muslims? Yes, negatively? because because some of us then were like, oh man, I can't stay on this side, man. This is the fun side. So you, you drag your trousers down and I wanted to step on it. Oh. And now it is the other way around. Video. Everybody's trousers is above the arm. Yeah, I see you flinging your toe. Well, yeah. What's your throat? And on that, obviously, I think we should look at it also from the angle of where these trends come from. Okay. The origin of these trends usually dictates if it's positive or negative. Yeah. For instance, I see one thing that's very common now, pre-wedding shoots. And imagine Muslims going into pre-wedding shoots. Not just pre-wedding shoots, pre-wedding shoots with haram. I mean, you're not married yet. Okay. You're not touching your expected spouse okay. or your fiancé. These are things that, they didn't come from Muslims. They didn't mm-hmm. come from Islamic places. And they have bad origins. So as a result, they have a negative influence on Muslims generally. Talking about pre-wedding shoots, some people must have actually done, perhaps, maybe, their mm-hmm. act done. Yeah. So you understand? So it might only be the walimu. So, Islamically, they can touch. But the question is, at the, the question of seeing the picture, you cannot decipher who has done act. That is the co- that, so that you is remove it. doubt you from the society. Yeah, exactly. that, 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 so, that's so, so yes, skip strike three. <laughs> in like in this the state of our world today, mm-hmm. right? The world is the world is pretty much like is a click away, right? It makes the world feel smaller. It makes the lines mm-hmm. get blurred and everything. That's it, you, you hear a ton of Muslims. Muslims are safer in the West than in Muslim countries. Do you understand? Okay. Like, you're most likely to get, to not get shot going to Islamia in, like, the West than even in, like, Muslim countries because okay. because of all the polarizations and everything. Going back so, to yeah. how do Muslims jump into this fast-moving train, let's use the word. Yeah, I think... How do they jump in? How do they come out of it? Or how... Most, no, 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 no. <laughs> Because the general thing, because everybody is doing it. Well, actually, how in diagnosing, in, in finding solution to every problem, you have to find out you got it. How we got it. Yeah. So, okay. so yeah. that's how we had to get in first. Yeah. So I think there is a there is a constant need for acceptance. Right. Okay. It's, it's standard. It, like it's mm-hmm. fundament. It's not even like cool. It's just fundamental human nature. Okay. Right. Um, let's take uni for example. We all guys. When you entered hundred level, there was this slight need to find your crowd. Right. Okay. Yeah. And when you felt unsafe you found people that were strong, right? And you became yeah. a cultist, for example. Okay. Um, if you felt like you were boring and you wanted action in your life, you joined mm-hmm. the party crowd, okay. right? And even with that, with this need for acceptance and identity, that is how some people join MSS, for example. Mm-hmm. So it's, I think, I think it's always, it's a constant question of, I, I, I think as a Muslim approaching society is, is like, a, like society is a battleground, okay. right? It's about 
trying to maximize your wins and minimize your losses, mm. right? So, um, so I, in, in a nutshell, it's it's safe to whatever fashion or sorry, whatever the trend throws at a Muslim, you need to you need to decipher it. Is this halal or it is haram? Yeah. You understand? Pretty much. Pre so that, that evolution. So can, I think, I think, I think that, 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 that should be a foundation on, on the topic now. Yeah. Whatever the fashion throws, naturally, it's human nature. We all want to follow the flow. We all want to... Like, I was listening to one of um, my Ahmed back then, and he was talking. He said, naturally, nobody don't... We all want to drink. We all want... But because of the consciousness of Islam, because of taqwa, we say, no, we don't want to do this. No, you understand? Because... I don't want to drink. <laughs> no, 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 what, 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 yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's just, it's yeah, just but, saying but, 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 that but, but, if I'm there thinking, wasn't, I'm, if, I'm if, there, if, let's say, let's say it, drinking is not haram, so if, at least this there was a time man. it was not haram, there was a time it was not haram, in it, and we, ha we found Muslims that was drinking, isn't it, but now that it, it is haram, Muslims don't, but there's one thing we are not talking about in terms of these fashion trends, what about Zina, in terms of trends rather, what about Zina, don't you think, now is like it's like it's like the order of the day and it is worrisome because it is destroying our family destroying our community and above all destroying our society i think it's the worst literally the worst you come out now and you brag about body counts yeah. you brag about i mean people people don't have, there's no higher against there's no there's no more shame. No shame this community this society this world mm -hmm. has now embraced it and they now portray it in our movies in our television series our shows we now accept it wow. as yeah, no, it's, i think it's all right you get so so i honestly so like i honestly don't feel like this is new right none of this is new like i feel like like human beings like we've run out of innovation right so we just repeat no the reality yeah, the reality yeah, is that nothing the reality is that nothing is new but talking about zina most times it's now we know that it's normal. You cannot say in fact now people will look at you as when you say no I'm not I'm you not yet to yes, yes, yes. But like, what about we find Muslims in the society, they no we pray together, we do so that together. I'm a married now tough thing you know, I never even get money myself. Oh, man. If I just find a person who will burn two for me. Now. You understand? Man, I just find person or and one. Who has a price with so what do you think as regards to that? I, I think so here's the thing. Yeah. First of all, like all of these things you just said, none of it is like super new, right? I feel like even in terms of the prophets, Zina was a struggle. Before the prophets, there was this like it's a constant part of society. And the again, I think I think you can actually see the future if you just learn history. <laughs> Do you understand? Me? Exactly. These things have always existed and it all boils down to understanding what is right and what is wrong. wrong. Like I I feel like it's the one thing that a person cannot afford to get wrong, right? Again, like I said, maximizing your wins, minimizing your losses, right? If you are, if you, there, there are times where society does checkmates us, to be honest, like a serious checkmate, like you, you are completely screwed, right? <laughs> but it is very important to understand, to never lose sight of what is right and what is wrong, because there's someone that said, that I, I read somewhere that it's one thing to know something is around. When you know something is around, you can ask that fully on the matter. But when it becomes accepted as, yeah, yeah. like that, that is When it problem. becomes accepted, when that thing that is when, when When you don't see the problem with it. Okay, okay. When I, feel like, I feel like that is when you are completely screwed. When it's already normalized. Do you understand? So, like, um, you go to places and, like, I mean, we inevitably, using the internet and society as an example, inevitably, every single day, you are consuming a lot of harm, like inevitably, huh. right? But the moment you, real, you, you just tell yourself that, yeah, all of this, nah, nah it's nothing. Uh, yeah. Now, we, are, we have a school. whole lot of societal trends now. Okay, so I haven't talked about the different societal trends, cutting across fashion, cutting across lifestyle, cutting across marriage in terms of what we huh. do, and Things that have made that have made Muslims fall into this negative social trend. So, back to you, Fuhad. Haven't noticed that we are there. How does a Muslim retrace his or her step as a way of concluding this? I think I have this conversation with lots of people, and it boils down to one thing: identity. Like it's like it's the one thing you can't afford to 
compromise, right? Mm-hmm. The thing about identity is that even when you scroll up, you know where to go back to. It's like a magnet. Like it's, it's kind of like a, a bedrock, a fountain. A fa- it's, it's a foundation, it's a beacon, right? Mm. So you know where you're coming from and you know where you are, you know where you need to be. Mm. Do you understand? So it's, it follows you, it either guides you or it, it constantly makes you feel guilty. Sure. But like as long mm. as it is like in your mind, like consciousness, mm. as long mm. as that state is there, most importantly, you can always, always tell yourself every time, like a litmus, is this halal, is this haram? I so feel like, I just feel like, honestly, once you lose that, that sense, that, that, that scope, that litmus, mm. this thing of, is this halal, is haram, mm. you are actually completely huh. Subhanallah. Scoped. We pray Allah save God us from the fitness mm. of our time. In a nutshell, a, Muslim's ide- a Muslim identity remains the Quran. And what? Mm. And the so Sunnah. Let's learn it. Let's learn it, let's study it, and let's practice it. Next on the show, we have um, the games. Well, <laughs> you're excited. Uh, Don't worry, the games. Hmm. You clear your doubts. Hmm. You clear your doubts. Hmm. Fuad, I'm starting with you, actually. Yes, yes nobody neglects. Like no, you're nobody is neglecting, nobody is skipping. <laughs> exactly. You and you. I'm starting and ending with you. So, exactly. what's, what's the game? It's, what's it's, game? Not, it's not difficult. It's just a five second game. You're okay. Pass, no pass five seconds. One, chill, two, chill. three, four. No, I don't, I don't, I'm actually like. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a five second game. Thousands of Muslims fast during the blessed month of Ramadan without eating a single meal. As little as 1,000 Naira can feed a fasting person. It's not too early to donate towards our Ramadan feeding scheme. Feed the fasting and multiply your rewards. Brought to you by the Hal TV Dawa Initiative. <clears throat> In five seconds, we're mentioning. Mention, say something that we can know. Car brands: and Aston Martin, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Bugatti, Tesla, Mercedes, Toyota, BMW, Hyundai, Danfo, Mulwe. <laughs> No, no, it's a car brand now. No, no, no. Danfo is a Nigerian name for a kind of bus. Molo is a car brand. Where are we? Oh. Where are we? Are you not in Nigeria? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Molo, Danfo, Danfo is a Volkswagen. It's, it's a Volkswagen. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Volkswagen. Molo is what? It can be a Nissan. Molo is a Mercedes. No, no, no. I said Mercedes. Mercedes. You said Mercedes. Yeah. Exactly. With. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. I can try. I think everyone makes one. Minus one, minus one. Three West African countries in five seconds. Nigeria, Togo. And Ghana, Senegal, Kenya, Zimbabwe. Hey, I'm a star. What else do you have to do with Senegal? You say you're a star. Say you're a star. Hey, hey, say you're a star. Say you're a star. Ghana. I said Ghana. I said Ghana. I said Ghana. How many states? How many countries do you have in West Africa? Exactly. We have seventeen countries. Seventeen. Where Where exactly are you from? Um, Sur- I'm surprise me, me, surprise I, me. I, 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 which region are you from? Iloke. 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 Where is Iloke? You don't know Iloke. Is it West Africa? I'm, I'm trying oh, to Oh, Iloke. Oh, Iloke. I'm a Bonia. All right. So the next person, you. Ah, don't let us use. Hey. Don't let us. So wait, you've been you've been escaping since. I don't need to participate. I know my position. Let's go. Oh yeah. Now. Who is this guy? Cool. Oh yeah, no, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about what you never know. Don't let me do the proverb. Don't complicate do life. Let's make it easy. Easy. Subhanallah. You can I mean you can escalate. Oh, yeah, no, you can escalate it's it and say like um surgical to You add your tone. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm yeah. not doing that. That's that's being biased. Okay, let's go. In five seconds, give me three secondary school subjects. Math, English, physics. Not that. Am I? No, it's going to be. No, 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 wait! Oh, I don't know, okay! Did you know? I have one question. You two times, you two times, you two times, you two times. Did you actually say Ethel? No, I said Ethel to education. I wouldn't say Ethel to education. I wouldn't say Ethel to education. No, 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 no. It looks like, how many times you write that course in Shogun School? Ethel to education. Like what was the hotel teacher? No! Wait, so look at TMT. You're not being fair. I thought it's going that way. Then it's now I think I have lost too many times. You know what? You know what? You, know what? you, know what? you cannot crucify me for what I'm taught. Is so, like, I mean, thoughts? this. Exactly. It's this, my this, this, this is not a democracy, but we can actually rig this thing. Those in favor of kicking him out say aye. 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 Well, it's my thought to do my own. 
So pay attention. Uh, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> this better be good. For let me see All right. his face. So you, you're, you're, you're answering next. I'm sure. That's no problem. Like That's no problem. Like uh, After no. you. Mention three PlayStation games. Grand Theft Auto, PES, Resident Evil. FIFA 18, FIFA 19, FIFA 16. Wait, you know what? The game is And this is Kiss Kill. See, see, see. Kiss Kill. See, see, This one, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, inshallah, alhamdulillah, it's Juma. I believe we've all enjoyed the show. I've enjoyed it, haven't you guys? I have. I, I do not feel right, as neglected as I felt I think at the we beginning. need to go off now. Until we meet again in our next episode, inshallah, I remember my humble self out of us. Okay, so in order to enjoy all of this beautiful episode we're giving you, subscribe to our YouTube channel at RTV Africa, our, our Instagram pages, RTV Africa, Facebook, yes. RTV Africa. Everywhere you go, out of it is very, very important. Very, 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 very important. Let's put it in different accent. It is very, very important. Oh, no, no, no. It is very, very important. It is very, very important. It is very, very important. Who am I? Don't forget my name. Oh, that's wrong. Mr. Ford, give us your final accent. We don't finish now. Press it. We hope you've enjoyed watching today's episode of AIJ. You can join the conversation online by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at How TV Africa. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page for more soul-inspiring content. Mm-hmm.